Hello again. Well, now the game is actually starting. My alley has been pretty much routed, as you can see, causing the aforementioned 23 casualties. My Hussars caught a unit of Prussian Jägers off guard and just cut them to ribbons. I'm in the process of reforming them now for several reasons. One, because they get tired, though it doesn't mean tired, I'll explain that in a bit very quickly. Units in this game do. And the other reason is that I have enemy units nearby which could be which could cause my hussars to rot. Now tire tiredness in this mod doesn't mean the physical tiredness. I'm one of the few unlucky persons whose Kaunitz localization file doesn't work so it doesn't change the names but the fatigue here is represented by cohesion meaning that the unit which is fresh active, tired, very tired, exhausted means several levels of cohesion cohesion loss or cohesion gain so a unit very tired or exhausted has very low cohesion and a fresh unit has very high cohesion now you see the enemy AI units appearing and disappearing on the map. That's because they don't know that they have a line of sight. So they keep running and keep turning themselves visible and losing cohesion in the process. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm moving my this part of my line slightly forward, as you can see by the detailing of where the units will move. Uh, and I'm, I'm moving some units, two units of grenade grenadiers um, and two units of line, plus my two cavalry, I pushed it back a bit to give a clear line of sight of cannons because I realized that due to my ally unfortunate demise I will be attacked by two sides actually, from here where the one of the AI is and from here where the other one is uh, sorry, from this side where the other one is, so I'm rushing forward to see if I can stop them. My cannons, meanwhile, keep working a number on them. One of them has gained one experience bar, which is actually not a good thing here. Experience in this mod represents fatigue, meaning that units that gain experience are fatigued and they lose morale and <coughs> other bonuses as well. Uh, I'm moving my general unit also, well not yet, but I'll be moving it forward to help in the line of sight of my right flank, let's call it that way. Um, why I'm using this wood for protection is because woods in this mod are quite realistically very hard to transverse with full army, so armies take a long, long time units actually, which represent battalions or squadrons for cavalry take a long, long time trying to cross it and it gives me a measure of protection because it allows me to deal with other threats more immediately. Now I'm placing my two cuirassiers here on the extreme flank because at this point I didn't know where the enemy was going to attack from. Meaning I don't know if they have these units here but if they have more units there most of their army is invisible at the moment. You can hear some musket, some musket sounds on the on the background, which is quite lovely. These mod sounds are very, very good. It helps with the immersion. Oh, I apologize for the flags and the units. I forgot to remove them in the preference file, so... Well, yeah, we're stuck with them. Anyway, as you can see, things are moving forward. I'm going to increase the speed of the game a bit just so you won't be bored out of your eyeballs by the time I finish. Though if you are, probably this is not the mod for you. <laughs> or I'm probably not the best narrator, but yeah. It's my first time doing something like this and I feel a bit silly, so yeah. Ah, anyway, some action apparently is about to start. Indeed, my allied general died, poor bugger. I actually have been watching a bit of the fight on that my ally was making to see how it actually went went on and amazingly the my allied AI friend managed to put himself between 
the two forces of my of our enemies and to be completely got to ribbon by flanking fire. Very smart move. Now as you can see I deployed my grenades in open order with some infantry nearby. I still it's hard in this mod if you are used to other mods, even Napoleonic Total War 3, which I usually play online. The, the mix of distance and the very realistic timescale of 1 to 1 makes distance very hard to measure in this game. Meaning, sometimes you react just too late for your units to be effective. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing my cavalry the back of my bit to be between my grenades and my line infantry and then I changed my mind. I did this because I saw these guys over here and they could these grenades they could basically kill my SARS or make them rout and then I would have to wait for them to come back again. Casualties in this mod are very very low which is a good thing because the units come back more often so you have a lot of fleeing and repeating fleeing and coming back units that makes the game more interesting for me at least. I think it represents better the flow of battle. And it means that it can... Ah, there you go. Some closely... Some close-ish range muskets. Ah, there they are, firing at my SARS. As you can see, their fire is very ineffective. They're, if I recall correctly, they're near their maximum range. And their maximum range basically at 200 meters. It's you can pretty much hit anything with muskets. <coughs> now my general is coming. The only thing lacking is my artillery that I chose for close range. just saw a unit disappearing into these woods because we'll see some amount of asset cover so I know they're there and they know I know they're there probably anyway you see this Gracias coming from the forest which is another AI blunder because cavalry through forest is a bit big no-no you get minutes without them available which precious minutes and you do need cavalry to win this game at least I do, since they are twice my number. Now what I'm doing is that I saw that they left a 3 pounder battery without any kind of protection and their 12 pounders are up ahead. Both, both of their 12 pounder batteries are up ahead. Oh, they managed to kill one of my cavalry's bastards. But uh, I'm going to take them out. You see, I'm walking them in at a very slow pace because they're very tired or with very low cohesion and I don't want them to rot. And I have my Gracias over here just to be ready to